is April 4th, 2024. I'm at a location I've never rail fanned at before. Hamilton Station on the Northeast Corridor. Hamilton Township, Mercer County, New Jersey. Just stepped off 3849, New York Trent Local. Hang around here for a few hours and watch the Amtrak trains fly. This beautiful looking station was opened in February of 1999, serving the outer fringes of uh, the Trenton suburbs. Four track mains, all trains pretty much stop here on New Jersey Transit. Amtrak flies through here. Going eastbound out of Trenton, they're usually up to maximum track speed by this location. And trains heading towards Trenton and Philadelphia and beyond usually start to slow down when they pass by here. Tracks are numbered left to right, one, two, three, four. The apple blossoms are blooming here. It's been a chilly week. Yesterday, the wind was howling and it was raining like you wouldn't believe. It was practically sandblasting paint off of the houses. But next week promises more spring-like weather. I can hardly wait. Mmm, quite a few blossoms here too. Nice intoxicating odor. Smells like spring, only the weather doesn't feel like spring yet. It's a cloudy day, but thankfully not too windy. Approaching is train 649 and route from New York to Harrisburg. Cab car first. And a 340 approaching on track one is a New Jersey Transit local for New York. That sound you hear in the background is a warning of the train approaching. Sounds sort of like the outer limits. Train 3858 for New York. Notice they sound the horn when approaching a platform. That goes back to the RFK funeral train when there was a casualty and Elizabeth person got struck by the train, actually another train. So New Jersey enacted that law. It's been followed through by other transit agencies. Approaching at 351 is 2163, a cell express, Boston to Washington. Approaching at 357 is train 85 and route from Boston to Richmond, Virginia. Four o'clock, here comes 184, Washington to Boston with the stalking locomotive, 642, everywhere I go. Never fails, it follows me everywhere I go, like it's, it's attached to me with a chain. 402, we have a Trent local pulling out behind me. It's 2168 is approaching from Washington to Boston.
right. I thought I'd miss him. Well, at 407, here comes train 97. The Silver Meteor en route from New York to Miami. Twenty-eight arriving as a Trenton to New York local with Comet 4s and 5s and gaining on him during the station stop is Amtrak 42, the Pennsylvanian and ride from Pittsburgh to New York. He's running about 30 minutes late today. Engineer on 42 is usually pretty good with the horn. Amtrak, once he leaves Trenton, accelerates pretty quickly. By the time he gets past here, he's doing the limit, 125. The sellers don't do 150 through here, but they're up there. I think they're allowed to do 140. True to form. He's on his way after a somewhat lengthy stop. an ALP 46, 4603. He was letting out a lot of sand. And looking towards New York at 438, you see the blossoms over there by track one. We got a Trenton bound train arriving at Hamilton. Forty-four. Here comes Amtrak 651. New York to Harrisburg. Cab car first. Four forty-seven. Here comes Transit, bound for New York, local. wasn't dropping any sand. The last couple of trains I saw were lighting out a lot of sand. And picking up speed to track speed of 125 at 449 is train 94 and route from Norfolk, Virginia to Boston.
458, we have another Trenton bound train arriving Hamilton. And on the footbridge over the tracks, we have an Acela, Washington to Boston. Interesting perspective. All right, we're on the New York bound platform now. Approaching at 511 is train 173, Boston to Washington. It's the same number that the old New Haven Railroad, Pennsylvania Railroad Senator had. He's starting to slow down for his Trenton stop. Train approaching for 3864 Trenton in New York. Sounds like the War of the Worlds machines hovering over you. If you've ever watched that great movie. With the naked eye, I can see these red lights flashing train approaching, but looking in the viewfinder of this camera, I don't see anything. Yeah, that 1953 made H.G. Wells movie, War of the Worlds, that was a great movie. Oh man, scary. The way these cylinders would come out and hover over you and they'd send their death ray out and destroy everything in their path. And this was the background sound that those cylinders emitted in that movie. They were like green crescent shaped. They look like crescent moons with ray guns sticking out of the top. The ironic thing about that War of the Worlds movie, back in 1939, I think, there was a radio broadcast. It was actually an Orson Welles show radio broadcast well the actual episode was comprised of a radio broadcast of these cylinders attacking places in new jersey right near here grover's mill is where the first cylinder came down and they were broadcasting it and people turned on the radio and thought it was really happening that they were being invaded by martians they were panicking and everything oh they're going to destroy us all ah! so this is a very uh <laughs> A lot of reminders of War of the Worlds derivatives. Here comes 3943 at 525 from New York to Trenton, arriving Hamilton. This is one of those hotshot trains. Out of New York, he stops at Newark, Princeton Junction, Hamilton and Trenton only. The 3900 series trains are probably about the fastest commuter trains in the country. MBTA has some pretty fast runs on the Providence line. There's a non-stop from Mansfield to Ruggles, 24 miles in 26 minutes. Mark has some pretty fast schedules in Maryland. SEPTA does pretty fast, pretty much between Wilmington and Newark, Delaware. And these trains are heavily patronized. Look at all the people getting off crossing the bridge there.
some point, we should have a deadhead train bound for Trenton of Arrow MUs. Ah, the Martians are coming again. Oh, if you've never seen that movie, that 1953 version of War of the Worlds, I strongly recommend it. It's one of the best science fiction movies I ever saw. Here's 3866 Trenton in New York coming. If you ever get to see the movie, or if you've already seen it, do you remember this brief scene where you saw one of the Martians inside the barn? It looked like a tooth with arms and legs and eyes. Okay, approaching at 532 is Amtrak 129, New York, Washington. He even makes stops at New Brunswick and Princeton Junction along the way. Powered. They've started doing that recently to try to minimize turnaround time at the terminals. Here comes 148, Washington, D.C. to Springfield, Mass. at 534. Getting kind of dark. Approaching at 544 is Amtrak 20, the Crescent, New Orleans to New York. Approaching at 549 is Amtrak 652 from Harrisburg to New York. This should have the donut engineer on it. This is train 3861 bound for Trenton and rapidly gaining on him is 2167 Boston to Washington non-stop New York to Philly with the Portland Rose engineer on board I believe he just recently got back from Portland Oregon Here comes Amtrak, New York, Harrisburg, 602. And 604 approaching is 2172 and ride from Washington to Boston. At Clark, he'll hit the 150 mile an hour zone. Well, 610, here comes Amtrak 176 from Washington to Boston. It's an interesting place, nice station. It's got two engines.
is that deadhead equipment move of Arrow MU's I always see. He's headed either to Trenton or Morrisville. All right, here comes the 46-40 Disco at 617. at 621 is Amtrak 193 en route from New York to Washington. Amtrak has put on a great show in these three hours here at Hamilton. It's almost 6.30 p.m. I've been here three hours. Had a most enjoyable time here at Hamilton. Saw lots of speeding Amtrak trains, usual transit. Saw the 4640 Disco engine. Saw an Arrow MU. And uh, had all kinds of War of the World reminders here. <laughs> so it's a most entertaining place and a very nice station indeed.